Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, a little surprise Friday uh, mini haul. Yeah, I was off work today because I had some appointments and uh, after the appointments, I had to stop at a store or two because that is what one does. Um, bad hair day today. I had my hat on all morning because it was like in the low 30s, which Celsius is like three or four degrees. And then it got warm. It's yeah, a lot warmer out there now. I actually rode home with the windows open in my car, all four of them. The hair just put up like this and blowing around like crazy. No makeup. It's a day. So where did I go? Well, I went to Walmart. We'll get to that in a minute. But I also went back to Pop Shelf. And yes, that is my dishwasher running in the background. This is real life, y'all. Real life. Okay. Pop Shelf. They are owned by the same people that own Dollar General. So you see some of the same stuff there. But one thing that's going on now with Pop Shelf, their Christmas stuff is 70% off. Which means these really cute Christmas bags that would normally be a buck a piece, which is a good buy anyway, 30 cents a piece. 30 cents, y'all. So whoever's in a gift exchange with me next year, you get something in one of these bags, y'all will know I am frugal. That's where I got them from. Okay, just thought I'd share that with you. Also, you know, I get stickers a lot. I had to get these. They're really cute, puffy stickers. I think they're Baby Shark or something. I don't know. I just thought they were cute and they will go in greeting cards to somebody somewhere. Got a little bit of craft paper. Now, it turns out, when I got up front, I found out that the paper and stationery is not part of that 70% off. But still, these are $2 a piece. Each one is an eight. Oh, this is an 18 count. This is the 12 count, six by six paper pad. Really cute papers in there. I figured, eh, they'll be nice to have just in case I decide to do something with that. Like I said, lots of stickers. Oh, I got some cute Valentine's pencils too. Like, whoa, aren't those adorable? Those were a buck. Yeah. Got some more bowls, cotton bowls that is. Uh, the usual stuff that one will find there. Got some cleaning stuff. I thought this was super cute. It's a Valentine's gift kind of thing. It's a kit to make this little chain. And it comes with all the bits and bobs for it, the beads and the twine and all of that. And it was a buck. I thought that could be fun to do. I also, what else did I get from there? Coffee, some new coffee to try. This is Empire's Donut House Blend Light Roast. Now I particularly like light roast. I don't like really dark, heavy, big coffees. Thought this might be fun to give a try. I will leave that out because that has to go someplace else. More stickers, but the main reason I wanted to show y'all my pop shelf haul, let me get them out. Yes, I have a bag of stuff. It's a bag of goodies here. I got hand lotions and everything else here, which are very cool. But these guys, these, and yes, I'm digging in this bag because there's a bunch of them. Do you see these cute little plushy stuffies? Okay, these are a buck a piece. Now, if you weren't paying attention, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet has released the wings list for this coming year. Some of the things are different. One month, they want loveys. And what better things to put on the loveys than cute little stuffed critters. Look at this little rainbow llama dude that you get for a buck and then you crochet your lovey around it. Isn't that cute little tiger, little leopard. And I got a couple of these little fuzzy unicorn guys. Oh, they're adorable. So yes, I am evidently going to take up making some loveys for that month's uh, thingamabob. Now, there's more stuff in there, but that is not what y'all want to see. Did go to Walmart, got the usual Walmart type of things, but I also picked up more stickers, puffy cat stickers. I thought they were cute. Got a hole punch because I've been poking the holes in my little note cards when I have to do my, this color goes with this, this color goes with this, like with a pencil or something. Actually bought an honest to goodness hole punch. Who knew? Got some more of these. You can get these at Dollar General or a version thereof. And they also have them at Walmart for a buck. These are binder pouches. They, they come in the um, school supply sections. It's a zipper pouch. The front is a mesh so you can see what's in there. Yeah, these are good to wear if you got your project bag and you want to make sure you have the right hook with you. You have a pair of scissors. You can use it for your little notions bag. That's what I've been using mine for. Speaking of scissors and notions, oh, more stickers. These. I keep picking these up. 
These are Fiskars, little scissors with the little cover sheath that is actually an eraser, but I never use it for that. Um, each one goes in a bag. They are so handy. No, they're not the fancy schmancy scissors, but they cut yarn just fine and they're cheap. You don't find these in the craft section though, you find them in the school supply section. Just thought I'd point that out to you in case you go looking for them because they are worth like they're a buck or two. I mean, they're really inexpensive. Also got some of these little post-it flaggy things because they're cute and because maybe it'll help me keep up with where I am in a pattern instead of writing all over it. Now, the actual crochet related item that I got, the directly crochet related is this. 70 plus crochet gifts in one, two, three. This is put out by Crochet Exclamation Point Magazine. Um, this is cost friendly, time saving projects to make with one, two, or three skeins. So, this is late winter. It says display until February 14th. The US price is $9.99. I even scanned it, there's no discount on it. Canada $10.99, but there's over 70 patterns in here, and I will do a flip through of this um, sometime over the next several days so that we can get a good look at what's in there and see if you want to go spend your 10 bucks on this, see if it's worth it for you. Anywho, told you this would be a short one, just a little mini haul. I tell you what I was up to today. Had a Subway sandwich, I had a lot of blood work done. Uh, Found out I'm dealing with all this stuff on my face is psoriasis, you know, just the usual stuff that an old bat like me goes through. <laughs> anyway, I will see y'all very soon. Tomorrow will be the Saturday vloggy thing, so look forward to seeing you there. Bye, y'all.